Hello guys, in this video I'd like to share with you how to get database development perspective in Eclipse IDE. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. You know the database development perspective is available in Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers. It is not available in Eclipse IDE for Java developers and Spring to Suite IDE. So if you want to get the database development perspective in Eclipse IDE, you need to switch to use Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers or install Eclipse Data Tools Platform or DTP for the existing IDE. And in this video, I'd like to share with you how to get the database development perspective by installing Eclipse Data Tools Platform. So you see, this is Eclipse IDE, and I'm using Eclipse IDE for Java developers version 2021.06 here. And I click the menu window, uh, perspective, open perspective as a, and you see, there is no the database uh, development perspective here. Uh, that means this Eclipse IDE version uh, doesn't come with the database uh, development perspective by default. So to get the database development perspective uh, for the IDE, you need to uh, search for Eclipse uh, Data Tools platform here. And click the result from the Eclipse uh, official website here, Eclipse uh, Data Tools platform. And click the download the menu on the right here. And you see, you can copy the update site URL here. So right click uh, the update site link of the latest version of uh, uh, DTP here. Uh, copy link arrest and switch to Eclipse IDE and click help uh, install new software and paste the link here and hit enter. Okay, and select all the components here and click next. Okay, and then click next and check the option. I accept the terms of the license agreements here and click finish and it will install the Eclipse Data Tools platform that includes the database development perspective. You can see the installation progress here just a moment so installation completed and you need to restart the ide for the changes to take effect so that's how to get the database uh, development perspective in eclipse ide you need to install the eclipse data tools platform okay now uh, go to the menu window perspective Open perspective as a, and you can see the database development perspective appears here, and click open. Here in the data source explorer, here you can create a new database connection here. For example, I will make a new connection uh, to uh, my SQL database. So choose uh, my SQL here, and choose a driver here. Uh, select the driver uh, version uh, 5.1 and you need to specify the MySQL uh, JDBC driver so I edit the jar file here and choose uh, jar file for MySQL JDBC driver here this one okay and uh, enter the URL to the database Shop me DB. Shop me DB and username and password. And click the button test connection. Ping failed. Uh, let me check. Access denied. I think the password is incorrect. Test connection. You see, ping succeeded. And click next. Finished. Okay, here we go. You see a new uh, database connection appears here. 
you see shop me db and you can browse the content of the database you can see the tables here for example i select data from this table load sorry data edit you see it uh, loads uh, the rows in the table here perfect and i disconnect disconnect And this is uh, Spring Tool Suite IDE, which is based on Eclipse IDE. And you can see I'm using uh, Spring Tool Suite IDE version 4, 4.11.0 4 here. And also, I don't see the database uh, development perspective here. You see, uh, no database uh, development perspective here. So we need to install new software here. Copy the update site link from the Eclipse Data Tools platform here. Copy and paste here. Enter. Select all and next. Next and accept. Finish. Okay, done. And we need to restart the IDE. And click the menu window, perspective, open perspective, as a, and you can see the database development perspective here, open. Okay, from here you can make a new connection to a database, for example, to MySQL here. Select a driver and specify jar file. I have a jar file, uh, which is a JDBC driver for MySQL here. Okay, and specify the database name, shopmedb. Shopmedb and enter username and password. And click test connection. Succeeded, you see. Click next and finish. And we got the new database connection here schemas tables here you see so far i have shared with you how to get the database development perspective in eclipse ide i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching